Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Leon Aronian and Ding Luren. This is a game from the finals of the World Cup, played in Tbilisi, Georgia in 2017. This is actually a rapid game for classical games before this game could not produce a winner. Aronian had white pieces and he started with c4. Ding Luren played knight to f6, knight to f3, e6, knight to c3, d5, d4, queen's gambit, c6, semi-slow defense, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, and now h6, asking bishop a question. And the bishop was not in a mood to talk, so he just killed the knight. Queen takes on f6, queen to b3. e3 is the most played move. But Aronian actually wants to play e4. And e4 immediately is not the best move because of this variation. d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, bishop to b4, check. Back to our game. Queen to b3, knight to d7, and now e4. d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, and you can see now that bishop to b4 is out of question. Queen to f4, attacking the knight, bishop to d3, e5, and Aronian castle at king's side. Bishop to e7, rook from a to e1, lining the rook with the black king. e takes on d4. White to move, first move that comes to mind is knight takes on d4. Aronian played bishop to b1, intending queen to d3, and after black castles king's side. Queen to h7, check, mate. Maybe. The game continued. Ding Liren cast king's side. And now queen to d3 was expected. Knight to g3 was played. Bishop to d8. Queen to d3. Threatening. Check. Mate on h7. g6. Why to move? How to continue now? What would you do? Levon Ronian played a very nice move. h4. Intending h5. Can black capture the pawn on h4? Is bishop takes on h4 possible? It is. Ding Liren played knight to f6. Hidden like this variation, bishop takes on h4, because then he loses the bishop. Of course, people normally don't like to lose a bishop for no reason. Back to our game. Knight to f6. h5. g5 keeping the file closed. Knight to e5. Bishop to a5 attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? Levon only played an incredible move. Knight to g6. Forking the queen and the rook. What a move. Queen to d2 intending to exchange queens. What's wrong with f takes on g6? If f takes on g6, queen takes on g6, check. And after king to h8, rook to e7, and the only way to avoid checkmate is to resign. Back to our game. Queen to d2, like I said, intending to exchange queens. Aronian played. Knight to e7, check. King to g7, queen to b3, keeping the queens on the board. Because black king is less safe, isn't he? Queen to f4. Rook to d1. Bishop to b6. Knife on g to f5. Check. Bishop takes knight. Knight takes on f5. Check. King to h8. Now, clever little move. g3. Forcing the queen to go to another square. Queen to g4. Knight takes on h6. Attacking the queen. Daring. Black to take the pawn on h5. Queen takes on h5, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Levon Aronian played king to g2. d3. Not taking the knight. If queen takes on h6, then rook to h1, pinning and winning. D3. D3 was played, but now queen to c3. 
pinning the knight on f6, king to g7, knight to f5 check, king to g6, white to move, white, play the move and black resigned. The move is, Aronian played rook to h1 and ding learn resigned. Where is the queen going? Perhaps black can offer the longest resistance by taking on h1. Then rook takes on h1, king takes knight, queen takes on d3 check, king to e6, rook to e1 check, knight to e4, rook takes knight, check, king to f6, rook to e1, some move from black, queen to f5 check, king to g7, queen to h7 check, king to f8, queen to h8 checkmate. And if black wants to save the queen and to play something like queen to g4, then the game would continue like this. Rook to h6 check. King takes knight, the only move. Then rook takes or perhaps queen takes on f6. And after king to e4, bishop takes on d3. Check. Mate. Levon Aronian is the winner of the World Cup 2017. Congratulations, Levon Aronian. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.